Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is December the 25th, 2021. I'm going to come in and talk to you all about Shiba Inu today. I want to see if there's still this insane opportunity for this particular cryptocurrency to go up in price. I mean, you guys can see from my price chart that I did a price prediction in Shiba Inu on December the 20th and the price has literally gone up since then. So I wanted to also come in, break down what I'm looking at now in terms of where the price is going to go in Shiba Inu so that we can be prepared so we can still be in position and win in the market without the confusion. So if you guys appreciate my videos, my price predictions, hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe here to the channel. So now, first of all, let me break down the price action in Shiba Inu since our last video. Because I was playing the weakness into the market in Shiba Inu, and you all can go back and listen to it and see it. But something happened after December the 20th that I want to show you all that kind of told me that the buyers came into the market in Shiba Inu. Right here. Literally. I told you all that on the video that, yeah, the only way that this can go against me is to see the buyers continue to step in just like they did on December the 4th in Shiba Inu. They did it here on December the 4th and they did it once again on December the 20th. This is the this is the reason why price is going up. There's no other reason outside of this. Buyers came in and propped up Shiba Inu right there at 300 thousandths of a penny right there. So now that is why the price currently is elevated in the market in Shiba Inu. So you can see over the last three to four days in trading the market looked like it may be getting hung up now right you guys can see that we have hit an area to where the sellers are now appearing in this space which is right around here right and this is the reason why i place on december the 20th this area as restriction so in actuality i mean as i transition over to a different time frame if i'm still seeing price strength in the market in shima inu then i need to cut the play now i need to minimize the losses now because the market's gonna go exceedingly higher than 4,200 thousands of a penny. I need to be prepared for that. So let's go ahead and try to see if the market in Shiba Inu is gonna to continue to go up in price. So let me go ahead and take this away first. If we were to get off the market now in Shiba Inu, I mean, we'd be down 26, almost 27% right there. But if we're still preparing and seeing that the market strength in Shiba Inu is still there, we need to cut it now and minimize the losses because if we don't, uh, we might be increasing the losses. Right. If the market in Shiba Inu was to go to four to five hundred thousands of a penny, that's 53 percent loss. Would you rather have that or would you rather have the 26, 27 percent? Yeah, exactly. So let me go ahead and take that away. And I'm going to switch this over to a um, three day time frame first. And you guys can see literally right here into the market in Shiba Inu that, yeah, there's still some strength here. This three day price bar right here tells me that that's the case. Now, we're currently seeing weakness into the market in Shiba Inu on this current one, but still, the market was able to overcome this massive downtrend here that we started in Shiba Inu in October. We have finally found the base. This is where the buyers are at. And this last completed three-day price bar literally is telling us that they're controlling the market right now, okay? And I can still see that even if the market in Shiba Inu is to come all the way back down here to 3,500 thousands of a penny. OK, so we got two areas that we need the buyers to step in. The first one is thirty five hundred thousands of a penny. The second one was where they were the last time. Three thousand hundreds of a penny. I mean, three hundred thousands of a penny, excuse me. All right. So, yeah, I'm still going to play the strength to the market in Shiba Inu. It's still prevalent and it's still here. We just need to try to prepare and see how high, though. How high can we see the price in Shiba Inu go now? Can you see it on this three-day time frame? I mean, can you see where the market could get restricted? Where can it stop going up? Because this is one area right here. Four to five hundred thousands of a penny. We can see the price in Shiba Inu get rejected right there. While everyone else is continuing to talk about the Shiba Inu burn, they continue to come up with some different narratives to try to convince you that the price is going to shoot massively higher price. The market has already determined where the sellers are going to be. And that's the first area right there, around four to five hundred thousands of a penny. Yes. I mean, they're even right there, around four hundred thousands of a penny. So let me show you all a different time frame. Let's see how strong this market is in Shiba Inu. I mean, look at this on, on the weekly time frame. We got a day, it ain't hours left so far. But currently, look at it. Do you see strength? Do you see weakness? I mean, for this weekly price bar right here to encompass the last two weeks of price action in Shiba Inu kind of tells us that there's a little bit more momentum to the upside in this space for this cryptocurrency. 
the answers are already here we just need to understand what it means you don't have to utilize a whole lot of indicators just to figure out what the market is trying to get us to do where it's trying to go this is it on a five day time frame two weeks look at this i'd be like on a two weeks time frame in shiba inu but again look right here we got eight days and eight hours left before this bar complete so i don't want everyone to be dependent on what we're seeing and what we're noticing on this two weekly price bar right now in shiba inu but it looks good right now let me show you all the monthly so what we have right now into the market in shiba inu is literally a probable precursor of strength meaning that the market on the next following month january it will have to close higher in order for us to know that the buyers were successful at keeping shiba inu's price propped up around three hundred thousands of a penny yeah so january is going to be really important for us to take note of that keep that in mind as we go into january all right so now let me see this on the hourly time frame then i'll go ahead and drop a price prediction in the market in shiba inu currently yeah i'm still looking for the price in shiba inu to go up okay now i got two areas i want everyone to be prepared i want everyone to see this and listen to what i'm about to say because this is where I'm noticing the sellers. The first spot that we can see the sellers has already been determined, which is right there around 400 thousandths of a penny right here. We just got rejected there a couple of hours ago. So yeah, we need to be prepared to try to eat off the market in Shima Inu right there. My second area that I can actually see from a daily basis is right there around 4 to 500 thousandths of a penny. And then my third area will be slightly lower a little bit below 500 thousandths of a penny right maybe around like 4800 thousandths okay so let me show it to you now all of this is going to be on the table as long as the buyers are able to continue to prop up the price which is right here around 300 thousandths of a penny yes so i said the first area was 4000 okay which gives us around 7.3% profitability. Second area is around four to 500 thousandths, which gives us around 20 and half percent. Then my third area, which is not necessarily guaranteed, but is probable from a longer term perspective, especially we continue to see the, the strength come in on a daily basis. It's right there around 4,800 thousands of a penny, which is around 30% profitability. Yeah, so this is it. I'm done. It wasn't hard, was it? It wasn't confusing. I didn't give you no terminology in terms of analytical abilities, complexities, and try to show you some fancy indicator that is the best in the whole world. No, you just need to see what the people are trying to do with their money because money talks. And it's the price chart that gives us the language. All right, so this is it. Now it's your turn. As always, as I do on the video, I want to give you all the opportunity to learn how to do this for yourself. So just take a stab at it. You know, just look at the price bars and the volume for what it is and try to figure out what the people are trying to do. And then you just get in position and capitalize with them. So let me know. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.